Hello, and welcome back to another month with Raccoon Racing. Uh, unfortunately, with April, we were not able to get any footage as the cameras were just not working at the time and they were working on getting new cameras, so that didn't happen. But now in May, we have new cameras, we're back to the race, and we're going to start with qualifying so we can talk about a few things that happened last month, and then we'll go ahead and get into the race for May. So yeah, April did not go as well as we were hoping. I ended up in Group C, as I said. And it happened with Qualifier 2, basically, is what caused it. Qualifier 1 went okay. I set a 25-second flat lap, which isn't amazing, but it's not terrible. But it competitive laps right now to get into Group A or Group B is about a 24-7 or 24-6. Um, so Qualifier 1, instead of 25, whatever, was getting ready for Qualifier 2. Before I'm even out of the pit, I can feel my cart scraping on the ground. The turning is definitely not okay. I tried to tell the steward, and he was just out like, no, you gotta drive it, you gotta drive it. Um, and yeah, it's pretty pretty annoying, not gonna lie. Uh, but the manager of the place knew that it wasn't right, and he, although he didn't see the race, he saw the times, and he refunded me for it, so... Uh, it sucked that I had a race. I'd, I'd rather have gotten another chance to qualifier and been able to place higher, but, you know, he did what he could for me, and I appreciate that. But we did miss out on points last month because of that. We had a fight in Group C, and I think we were around... I think second or third in that group so I mean we did maximize points as well as possible but yeah it was not fun but let's go ahead and get into these qualifiers the guy in front of us would actually be the guy we were racing behind in the final race so these qualifiers were really fun to do I only got footage from the first one but it's pretty relevant still and I only set a tenth faster in the second qualifier so we're not missing out on too much so let's go ahead and get into these times so starting out we're gonna go with a 25-1 which isn't bad for a starting lap and you'll notice that me and the number 7 cart are going to be kind of just creating a train with each other and keeping our speed up with each other throughout this qualifier. Um, nothing too crazy really happened in the qualifiers. It was actually pretty nice, pretty smooth. Um, at least for my qualifier, I can't say the same for everybody else's. He did go a little wide there, which slowed me down a little bit, so our lap time would come out to a 25.6, but that's just because we're still following him. Uh, at this lap, I kind of just like, maybe I don't need a blue flag, but I kind of pointed out, and I would come to realize he did have a bad card after, so it wasn't entirely his fault. Like, it was pretty obvious why I was catching up on him in some of these turns. But we're getting through this lap. This lap was going to be ruined. It's not going to be too fast. It was a 26-1. So we'll go ahead and just go into the next lap and see how it goes. So yeah, after the 25-7, he starts to realize his cart is pretty bad, and he pulls out of the way for me, thankfully. So now we can really start pushing this cart. The part cart itself felt pretty good. Um, it was a little bit twitchy with the turning, but like in a good way where it was responsive. The braking was totally fine, wasn't overly aggressive, wasn't underly performing, uh, and the turning was, I mean, it did what it was supposed to. That's, that's all we want from our carts. So we go ahead and head into this next lap after setting that 25-2. So you can already see we're getting that time back. And not this lap, but the lap after, we'll kind of be setting up our fast lap and seeing what we can do in this qualifier at least. And now that lap pulls out our fastest time for Q1 being that 24874, which wasn't too bad two months ago, but now that time is really not that competitive anymore. It's still pretty good for Q1, uh, and then I start getting blocked, so the rest of my laps don't really go according to plan. They're all going to be 25 second laps, with the closest one being a 25-1, but in the end, uh, good qualifier for Q1. Uh, you know, I was fast. I, that's what we wanted to be after last month with getting really poor carts. 
I wasn't the only one that experienced that issue last month either, as I know Geo was somebody who's struggled the last two months with carts being bad in qualifier. A um, couple of other people like Ralph got screwed a little bit more this month with just not having the most amazing cart. And it's getting to that point where you have to figure out the exact best cart to aim for so you can get that cart out of the race since it's giving such an unfair advantage compared to the carts that are broken that are giving more of a disadvantage. It's it's interesting. But yeah, I kind of forced my way around this guy because uh, I want to try to get my last few laps in. And from there, I mean, like I said, nothing too spectacular happens. We finish out our qualifier and we go into Q2. Q2 had some more interesting results. Um, like, uh, like I said, we set about a tenth faster with a 24.708. That was our fastest lap in the entire qualifying sessions, which wasn't terrible either. I was like, okay, maybe, you know, I'm in a place where I can be somewhat competitive. Uh, but there was a lot of people, and I ended up starting, I think, in fifth place of Group B. So we'll kind of start setting up to watch that after we go ahead and finish these last few laps here. And with that, that wraps up our qualifier for this video. Um, yeah, so something you kind of notice is they have been really bad about paying attention for blue flags. Um, this wasn't an issue just in my qualifier. We, we noticed it a lot when we were spectating as well. And it's something we keep kind of addressing, but um, it is what it is. I think realistically it comes down to the drivers also need to be more aware. Uh, you can see me cheering because I'm like, yes, finally, a 24 lap again after last month. Because last month just went not the best. Um, but yeah, let's let's go ahead and get into the race. We'll throw up the results real quick up here for Qualifier 1 and Qualifier 2 and get into the race. So the race is going to start pretty quickly here as the flag dropped before anybody was even aware what's going on. And you'll hear it in my voice here at the very beginning too. Let's hope my cart doesn't die. It was just out in the last group, so who's sitting on now? So yeah, you tell me down in the comments if that start was expected at all. Uh, so we go into the first hairpin, and now that I'm seeing it again, it wasn't as bad as I remembered, but God was this rough for this race. Uh, I feel like everybody after the rough qualifier was pretty eager to just find their position in the race and get going. So as you can see, I go from 5th to 6th at the very beginning, but that's not going to be the end of this race yet. We're going to go ahead and slip past the number 1 cart, back into 5th position, back where we started, and this is where the real battle begins, right here. We're going to go into the hairpin. We do accidentally make a little bit of contact, but in these rental carts, you really don't have much of a choice indoors. So I'm able to slide in there as well. And as much as I didn't feel as happy about it as it wasn't the cleanest of passes, I knew I needed that position because I needed to start fighting where I needed to fight. 19 does a good job of going defensive there. He pulls over at the last minute to go ahead and block the inside turn, stopping my momentum completely. But that's not going to stop me yet. 35, the cart that was number 7 in the qualifier, does get sideswiped a little bit there, so he does kind of slow us down a little bit, but that gives me just enough opportunity to go ahead and slide past that cart again in the three-point turn, that turn being very helpful to me during this race, and now our real battle begins. As I was saying, the guy in the orange shirt, that is the person that we're going to be racing for most of this race. His name is Travis Morgan, and he had an excellent race in this race. And just ahead of him is the person that we've talked about a few times in these videos is actually Giovanni. Uh, Gio did not have a good qualifier either. He actually even had a chance to re-qualify because their lap times didn't get counted for half the race. And he still unfortunately only got into Group C because he just did not get the best of carts. Um, but we're going to go ahead and keep chasing. Gio's getting a little bit of a lead because after that side swipe on Travis, Gio kind of was able to pull away. So our main goal is to focus on Travis. But what I don't realize is I do have some people chasing me, but they're not really my biggest threat. 
my biggest threat is actually what happened before this race even began. So we'll go ahead and get to that real quick. So the weird thing about what happened that night, um, none of us switched lanes for the carts we were using. We all kept using the same lane of carts. And in my first and second qualifier, there's a specific cart, number 33, that was being a problem. We tried to vote it out in the second qualifier, and apparently they never took it out. So we saw it back on the track again, and they tried to put me in that cart in the final race. And I just outright told them no. That cart had been driving into the walls. I'm not going to drive in an unsafe cart during the race. The qualifier is one thing, but when it happens during the race, that's I, I'm not having that. Especially after last month when I got refunded for a very similar issue where I already know the cart is bad before I'm going out. Uh, but thankfully we got switched to the cart of the winner from the Group A race. The downside was it didn't get time to fully charge. So what I was kind of worried about and started reflecting, especially in the end of the race, is the power draw was starting to go away. I was not able to get the full speed out of some of these corners as Travis was or Geo was. And you can kind of see that as I start slipping away behind them. It's not looking good for me, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and just kind of watch for a second because I've been talking a bit here and see what we do with this race. So yeah, at this point of the race you can kind of tell that Travis is just pulling away even though I'm doing pretty decent laps. Um, like I'm setting mostly low 25s, not anything super crazy, but this cart literally was the winner in the last race, so I know it's not a bad cart. It can keep up, it's just without that significant time to charge before the race, it definitely put me in a little bit <clears throat> more of a detrimental spot. The good news is, is we're still positive from our starting position. We started out in fifth, and we've been leading third position for a majority of the race. So we take that. We take those. Ideally, we just want to try to maximize our points in whatever group we got. And this being group B, I feel like we did a pretty decent job of maximizing those points, getting third compared to the fact that we're racing against Geo, who's already been doing amazing this season despite the two bad carts the last two months. Um, and Travis being another one of our very impressive drivers. So I honestly I walked away with this way happier than I did last month But at this point I can start feeling the cards behind me starting to bump me the camera doesn't quite pick them up But yeah, they they were on me at this point. So I realize I'm gonna have to start driving a little bit more Defensively and like right there you can kind of see they weren't expecting my breaking point because my breaking point is a little different and it, it was rough. I was not expecting this race to start going this way, but we're almost done. So I just knew all I needed to do was hold that position, keep it tight in the corners, and I should be fine. And with that clean final turn, I was able to secure the third position, finish the race, and overall, despite the, the almost cart issue, having a bad cart in the, the final race again, Things went pretty well. I was pretty happy, and that wraps up May's race. Um, I am still going to try to get a analysis video here soon, but in the meantime, what I did manage to get by accident was the third place or third place camera from Group A. So I do have some footage from Group A to share. I believe it was Caden's camera, but I'm not entirely sure. Caden, if it is your camera, comment on the video or reach out to me on Discord or something if you're in the Discord. And I can get the video to you if you didn't get it for some reason. Or if you don't want it to be in the video, let me know. That's totally fine and I understand. But for now, here's the Group A race and here you go.
So yeah, that was the footage from Group A. Caden did a good job and kept that third place. He didn't really have to <laughs> do too much fighting from what I've seen in this video. Um, but yeah, I think this month overall just went a lot better. We are still, we're getting to that point where one, the building is heating up, so grip is getting a lot better on the track during the day. So that's helping, but we're also getting to that point where we're figuring out which cards are really bad and which cards are really good. So that's also becoming a big deciding factor in each race and each qualifying. Um, overall, shout outs though to everybody that, you know, I hung out with and talked to at the race. It's always good to see all of you guys and hopefully we can hang out again soon. And for any of you who also just joined to watch the video, whether you were a spectator at the event itself or, you know, you're just coming from some other faucet of YouTube, uh, glad to have you here. Hopefully we can keep making these videos this year. Maybe stay in the top 10. I have to check those results again to see exactly where I am on the list. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm having a good time and I hope everybody else has been too, despite the ups and downs. And with that though, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the video. So thank you for stopping by and you have a wonderful day.